Hey you guys, it's Tracy Panace with Just Between Friends and I am here to tell you about an exciting new way we're gonna be conducting drop-offs. So are you ready to get in the zone? Let me show you what we're going to be doing for a drop-off. We are moving to a process called zone drop-off and basically what that means is you will be able to come into drop-off, drop the appropriate category into a particular zone which is going to save you time. That's one of our, our number one objectives is to value and save you time and also help us to improve the overall quality and look of the sales floor. As the sales have grown, you know, we've accepted lots and lots of items and some things should or should not be on the floor. And so this will give us the opportunity to look at each item as it comes in and to be able to place it on the floor in the appropriate spot. So how does that work? You are all going to have a map. And so there will be um, an email sent out to you with a copy of this map. I would encourage you to look at this when you're at home because this is how you're gonna save the most time is if you can organize your items by zone at home, all you need to do is take your box, drop it off in that zone and continue on. So what do I mean by this? So each there are seven zones throughout the sale this particular box is marked zone one in zone one that's where we will have puzzles games educational items electronics arts and crafts backpacks lunch boxes sporting goods and party supplies so if i have everything that falls into one of those categories in a box labeled one and it's a disposable box that i don't want back which is what we encourage you to do all you're gonna do is go to zone one. There will be a large sign that says zone one, drop it off and then our volunteers who are working in that area are going to be placing it onto the appropriate item uh, area of the floor. That's zone one. Zone two is this box behind me right here. This is toys. So these are boys toys, infant toys, characters, little kids toys, Legos and little people. Moving on to zone three, that's this box right here. So this are, uh, includes things like room decor, as well as infant items, seasonal items, potty, safety, anything related to feeding is going to go into zone three. Diaper bags, dress ups, blankets, dance wear, crib, tubby time, and all of those kind of um, baby type of items related to feeding and nursing are going to go into zone three. Zone four are your shoes. And so that will be boys and girls shoes. That's gonna be conducted exactly the same as in the past. You're gonna take your shoes to zone four, separate it out by size and by gender, and then the inspection will take place from that point forward. Zone five is clothing. So when you come to drop off, you will be given a rolling rack. You're gonna put your clothing out onto the floor into the appropriate size and gender, it will be inspected from the floor. Anything that is rejected for clothing, shoes, or any other item for that matter, if it is marked donate, it will automatically be donated. If it is marked return to consigner, so it's not donate, that will be returned to you at consigner pickup. The other zones that we have are zone six. That is for yellow tag items. So items that are too big to go into an Ikea bag, which include things like bicycles, strollers, pack and plays, high chairs, all of those items as well as small ride-on toys are going to be in zone six and this will be done the exact same way that we've always done it. So if the item needs to be sanitized, if it's something that has a polyfill, you will bring that in to the appropriate entrance depending upon the venue and then we will put that out onto the sales floor for you. We've always done a zone drop off in yellow tags and we didn't call it zone. We didn't even know it, was, it had a name. So um, you'll do that the same. And then you will also do zone seven, which are our books, DVDs and CDs are going to go in zone seven. You will place those out into the appropriate bins. And remember with books, we have the like large under the bed boxes on the table. You're gonna do that spine side up so people can see what the titles are and then it's broken down by parenting books, chapter books, easy readers, wherever it is that they belong, that's where you're going to place your books. 
Once you are finished dropping your items off into the appropriate zone, you are gonna exit the building and you're done. Again, this should save you considerable time. The final thing that we ask you to do is if you use one of our rolling racks, kindly return that to the front of the building so that the next consigner can put their items out onto the floor.